Howdy, Trav. How can I help you? I can see that. I don't get too many uh, visitors here in this tavern. Well, you just walked into the uh, Devil's Bargain. That's the name of this here establishment. That's correct. I am its keeper. So you state that you're lost. Can I help you find your way? How about you pull up a stool here at the bar and maybe I can help you find your way? Let me pour you a drink, friend. That's quite all right. This one's on the house. So, tell me your story. What brings you into my tavern? We've already established you're quite lost and don't know where you're going. So, I think you got some time. Well, you know, love's overrated. Continue. Most folks hate working. Well, you'd be the exception then. Well, you know, the past year's been hard on many a folk. Traffic through this uh, tavern has been quite lucrative, we'll say. Mm-hmm. So is that it, my friend? Well, I'd have to say, you were probably successful in that last one there. Well, I mean, you're here with me, lost. How long were you wandering outside? And how often did you pass this tavern before you decided to come in? Days? Weeks? You can't tell, can you? See here, friend. Time doesn't move in a linear pattern here. Not like it does in the realm of the living. Like I said, you were successful. Now, I could help you out. Show you the way home. But it's going to cost you. Well, that's an unwise thing to say. You should never tell somebody you will do anything to get back home. Frankly, that's just an unwise bargaining chip to offer. See, when you make a bargain, you want to end up on top of that bargain, no matter how the chips fall. You want to be the winner. That's right. Well, like I said, I could help you. You could point you the way home. Give you a second chance at it. 
Maybe make amends to some of your friends and family? What do you think about that? Excellent. Well, you do make a valid point there. You don't have to accept my deal or bargain, but you're welcome to sit here in this tavern with all the other lost souls that come in and out. Many just keep wandering outside. Some come in, sit down, have a drink. Some of them just don't care anymore. And they become permanent residents of this place. It's entirely up to you. I won't push you or twist your arm. Down here, we let people make their own choices. That's right, I said, down here. Ah, now it's finally dawned on you. What end of the afterlife you trekked yourself into? Not what you thought it was going to be, huh? Yeah, that's the, uh, the beauty of it around here. Nothing is as it appears. For me, I like a nice, comfy, warm place to sit. Have a drink. Have a chat with a friend or two. So I built this tavern. And for those who just want to come in, feeling a little lost, a little scared, you come down, have a drink, and a chat, and I send them on their way, pointing them in one of two directions. But like I said before, some just don't bother. They stay lost. Which is all good to me too, because it all works out in the end for me. Well, my friend, my name's not important right now. You have a decision to make. You're welcome to stick around this tavern. You're welcome to go back outside and wander endlessly. But ultimately, do you want to go back? All right, then. So, you want to go home? I can make that happen. But it's going to cost you. Well, I can point you out that door, send you home. But in, let's say... 20 years. I'm going to come a calling for my payment. So that gives you two decades to make amends to all you have wronged. Before I come a calling. No. Just simple as that. You get to live another 20 years. And I'll come and collect my payment in two decades. Well, the payment's not important. I'll come up with that when I am come and meet you again. Deal? No, go ahead. Sit a few minutes. 
Think about it. All right. Done deal. Let's shake on it. Well, my friend. Just head out that there door there. Make a left. And walk right back in the daylight. I'll be seeing you. Have a good one.